I generally find that I, w- I would never go, I would never tender a job with DA documentation only, not even if it's a one into two subdivision. Like, um, I, I, I've navigated, I found an opportunity in the market because of the design and construct procurement method. And that's being a service provider that understands how to navigate that point from DA approval through to shovel ready, um, which is a lot of the time in bigger projects managed by the builder. Um, so, uh, and, and when you've got 10 years of industry um, proceeding through a design and construct process, therefore um, builders are, ch- are leading this, this procurement process and consultants are typically not taken through the journey. Yes, the RPEQs are for certification and inspections, but building designers and architects, um, if you've got, say, a two-year build for an apartment um, job, how many times has the architect been on site or the hydraulic engineer to do an inspection? Probably not that many times, probably not at all, um, because it's not required for the building approval. It's not required to um, get titles. Uh, You can go through a whole process for a two-year build the building designer or architect or hydraulic engineer doesn't need to attend site because the form 16s get signed off by the subcontractors. So, you know, I, I sort of reflected on this and thought, how can I um, help the, you know, the client side and, and it's basically navigating that process. How, how, how do the, how do the builders typically handle that? Um, what do you, what, what do you mean? Well, with, with you sort of playing that sort of um, that steering role, that, yeah, well, our builders love it. I, I, I'm honestly finding my biggest referrers now are builders to superintend jobs because um, if the if the if the scope is delineated well, you, you understand what you're pricing. Yeah. It's like if you're if you're working if if Janelle and Michael, if you're going to put together a scope to help me on my next development, if that scope's defined, you can probably sharpen your pencil really well and be happy and confident you're going to make money on it. But if it's ambiguous, then it's very difficult for, uh, for to, to understand what you're pricing on. So mm. I think creating clarity on scope yeah. is, is a it, better outcome for everyone. 